Hey everyone, this video is going to be around having a new textbook for Cloud Talk to SharePoint Online and create an item in a SharePoint list. Now, one of the things that I have in that list is a multiple choice field, or a choice field. And I have, uh, it's called country, and I have four country names in there. And I've set it to check boxes, which means I can do multiple selections. So, what I want to show you is how you would then take that data and plug it into an item in the SharePoint list from the Intext Workflow Cloud. So this is my item, there's my list. Let's have a look at what happens from the Intext Workflow Cloud side. I have a start event form. It's a very simple one, it just has one uh, multiple choice control on there with those four country names. That's it, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just called countries. All right, so let's get out of there. Now, what I have is the way the countries are stored from the form, because it's a multiple choice field, is it's stored in a collection variable. So if I go in here, I've created a couple of extra things uh, that I'm going to need. I'm going to need an index. So that's going to be an index into my collection. I'm going to have a text a variable called text country. I'm going to have another one called text countries. Right? I'll show you how I'm going to use these in a moment. So here's my loop for each. All this is doing is going to go and iterate through each of those countries in that collection uh, start variable. And as it goes through it, we're going to store each country in a text country variable and the index so we know kind of where we're at. Inside that for each, I have a branch by condition. All this is saying is, is the current index zero, which basically means we're dealing with the first item. Now, how I'm using the text countries variable is that's going to keep, I'm going to basically append data to that variable, and that's going to be the structure of the data I'm going to send to my uh, SharePoint list. So if it is the first item we're dealing with, I'm logging some information, but I'm creating a text string, and all I'm doing is storing text country variable into text countries. So it's basically like initializing the text countries variable. If we're up to the second, third, fourth, whatever country in our selection, we're going to go on this side. Now what we're doing is we're adding text countries at the beginning. We're adding a semicolon and a hash, and then inserting the text country variable, storing it all back in text countries. So that is the, the structure that SharePoint requires for a multiple choice field when you're updating that particular type of field on the SharePoint list item. Once that's done, text countries will have the data that we need, right? So for example, be UK, semicolon, hash, US, semicolon, hash, Malaysia, etc. And then when we go to our create item action, or create an item action, there's my Office 365 connection. You'll see my site URL in a moment, my list name, uh, no folder path, I'm doing it in the default. I'm just storing the current workflow inside ID in the title. And for the country, I'm using text countries. So let's have a look at how this works. So we're going to go over here. We're going to find our form URL. Open it up in another tab. So this is my this one right here. So my form and URL. Click on that to open up the form. And then we'll just select maybe the bottom three. Uh, US, Malaysia, oops, US, Australia and Malaysia and click on submit. So while that's going, if I go back to my instances, you should see that there is a workflow running. There you go, create SPO item with multiple choice fields. It's currently in progress. So we'll just refresh that. It's usually fairly quick, but it might be running. There you go, completed, perfect. I'm gonna go back to my list here. So you see the last one says US, Australia, Malaysia. If I refresh, I should have another one of those. There it is, US, Australia, Malaysia, and there's the workflow instance ID. So pretty straightforward. What I would recommend in this particular scenario is because is that this is actually fairly uh, standard kind of logic. Maybe not necessarily the create item, but at least this loop. So this would be perfect to build into a component workflow, which is actually what I'm going to do after I wrap up this video. So I'll make this available. What the component workflow will do is actually take a, uh, a collection variable and it's going to output a text string right with with the semicolon hash 
uh, work in there. That way, you don't have to worry about building this out into every single workflow, right? You can just use that particular uh, component workflow, use that little action. All right, if you guys have any questions, feel free to add them to the bottom of this YouTube video, or I'm gonna embed this into my website in a blog post, so feel free to add some comments there as well. Thanks for your time, everybody.